Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm a celebrity dating coach. You might recognize me from E's Famously Single, E! News, MTV, Good Morning America, or various other shows. I'm also known as the Man Whisperer. One mistake that I see so many new clients make is looking for it when they go on a first date. It's a huge mistake because they're throwing out so many potentially enduring, amazing, healthy relationships just because they didn't feel it on the first date. All right, let me explain. Too many people are dating heart first when what you should be doing is dating head first. Dating heart first is focusing on the immediately gratifying feelings. Dating head first is looking for the could we be good partners in life facts. Someone who's dating heart first might have a great date. You can't stop thinking about them. You feel giddy. You need to see them again. You even think that you could be falling in love. Well, you're not in love. Love takes time. You're intoxicated by chemistry, which actually hits the brain in the same location as cocaine, creating a drug-like effect that tricks you into thinking that you're falling in love. It also blinds you to the reality of who they are, including potential red flags and a mismatch of personalities and values. Or you might have a nice first date. They seemed like a good fit, but you just didn't feel it. The it that you didn't feel is chemistry. And too many great dates with people who have potential for enduring relationships are discarded because of it, or rather, a lack of it. When you date headfirst, you're looking to see if your values and needs align and could possibly be met. You have clarity, and you're on your dating purpose. Then, if you see that this person could possibly be a good fit, then you let your heart and your hormones enter in play. Because even if you don't feel it on the first date, you can end up having a great relationship with tons of attraction that's real and deep and even more intoxicating and enduring. Chemistry is rare. It is simply a drug-like state that makes your brain and your sex organs get excited. And another problem is that the chemistry-fueled relationships are so intense and that chemistry fades. And when the reality sets in of who they actually are, then you're sitting there wondering, where those crazy feelings went, assuming that you fell out of love when really you're settling into the comforting and calm rhythm of reality. Dating heart first makes you lose sight, be blinded to, and ignore red flags just because it feels good. But the truth is that they're not good for you. Date head first for the first date. Then allow your heart and your hormones to enter. Give it three dates if you're not feeling it. On the third date, then it's over. And sometimes, I've, I've seen this personally in coaching clients, I've experienced it, and we've also seen it with a bunch of celebrities, that years later, or even months later, two friends, one of whom wanted them so badly, and the other was like, no, I don't feel it with you, all of a sudden, they start feeling it. And then they're in the best, most nourishing, healthy, loving, sexy relationships that they could have ever imagined. So stop banking on it and allow yourself to get real. Start dating head first. Thank you so much for watching. Please like it if you did and subscribe to my channel. You can learn more about me and how I can work with you as your dating coach if you go to my website, laurelhouse.com or manwhisperer.com. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Dating Laurel and Instagram at Laurel House. Thank you and I hope to see you again soon.